good everyone it's c swoop from m7p we're here at beachwood place with sydney at herbal city one of the hottest skincare brands in the nation coming right out of the midwest that's right <laughs> we're going to discuss sydney's role to creating herbal city skincare culture and what it takes to help the business run successfully and then we're actually going to witness sydney whip up one of her highest selling products live here on that's major period point blank period let's <laughs> get it All right, so Sydney, how you doing? I'm good, how you doing? You doing, you doing all right today? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so look, man, I did a poll on IG, you know, okay. a couple weeks ago to see who would be a great woman for episode five, right? And then I just keep on seeing Herbal City, Herbal City, mm -hmm. Sydney. What can it, I just, say? It, it just keeps <laughs> popping up, right? Yeah. So I recently found out you're like a goat walking around the city, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I wanna know. What is it that you would say that makes Herbal City such a big deal? Well, I'm a self-taught entrepreneur. I taught myself from formulating to marketing to everything that you can imagine that falls under, you know, the business aspect of becoming an entrepreneur, especially in skincare cosmetics. So. Okay, but the thing is, you could be an entrepreneur all you want. Does your product actually work? A product works. I've seen <laughs> results like crazy yeah. from babies to elderlies to people from hair falling out, definitely. Okay. So how long have you been in the business of natural body and skincare products now? I would say for about four years. This has been a long journey okay. and it keeps getting realer. So four years, that's when you first start doing your own personal research and basically being self-taught. Yes, correct. So I sat down day and night on a laptop, just trying to research, study my way into becoming the best entrepreneur, skincare boss there is. Boss up. So look, Sydney, I did my research, all right? Mm -hmm. And I found out something that I thought was crazy, okay? Herbal City did a half a million dollars in sales just yeah, last year. Yeah, That's you put true. me out there, yes, it's true, it's true. That's just wild. So what elements did it take for you to be that successful or the business to be that successful? So I would say the top three elements that has made me a successful business owner would be consistency. I just kept going at it, okay. I never gave up. Um, next was serving up a product that was quality and that showed results. You know, everybody likes a good consistency in their skincare products. And then marketing was top tier. You know, when you show that you have a good product, that you're consistent and you're showing that you have good marketing, there you go. All right, you know what? Let's go check out some of the product. I need to I need to see what all the hype is Come about. Come through. Let's see what she's talking about. All right, Sydney, so what we got here? What, what, what we got going on? What, what is this right here? This is, this is our sea moss scrub. This makes your body feel like it's silky smooth. It makes you feel nice and soft. Okay. And everything, it's a really good product. Really? Mm -hmm. So that's a good one for dudes too? Yes, anybody can use it. It is unisex. Well, I heard girls don't like dudes with soft hands and stuff like that. Is that true or that not? That is not true. We all like right. our men <laughs> soft as us. Don't, don't, uh-uh. So, all right, so what about this? I'm reading this here. It says, Sun protector. It's our sun protector. So this sun protector is infused with sea moss. It is great for all skin types, oily or dry, but it also helps with the elasticity of your skin. So preventing wrinkles, okay. even though black don't crack, even black people need this as well. <laughs> this is a very important product for sure. Okay. Now. And then, you know, I told you, I keep telling you, I done done my research. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I hear that this, this sea moss here, right here, yeah. is the number one top This seller. This has made me some money, okay? <laughs> this is gold. It's literally liquid gold in a bottle. So this product is good for especially dry skin types like psoriasis, eczema. It will get you right and it will get you hydrated and moist. And it'll also get you a half a million dollars in sales. Period. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so look, so how are all these products produced? Is that all you? It's all me. I handmade, hand formulate it, package it up, and there you go. Perfect product. That's major one to go to where the magic is done. I need to see Top how you secret. make it. I need to see how you're making all these products. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's all right. go. Hey. Let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> That's just how I live. I ain't got no kids. My best friend is Ben. Ben, 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 Ben. I'm just being bright. I do what they can. 
Welcome to Herbo City Headquarters. You like? Man, you howling. <laughs> this all you? This, this is me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's crazy. Like, do you ever just walk in here and be like, this is really, I really did this? Yeah, definitely from where I came from, this is, it's a lot to take in sometimes, for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Do it like get you chills? Cause it's giving me little chills right now. Like, yeah, especially I'm, when I first got it. Oh yeah. my gosh, it was nice, empty and clean. Oh yeah, I'm I was ready to make magic. <laughs> that's crazy, I'm looking at machines. I'm looking at your name right there. And I'm looking at a bunch of product that just represent Excuse. just what? Me. It represents lifestyle, represents health, beauty, blackness, you know, like I come from nothing. So this, this is something. <laughs> Let, come on, let's have a seat. Okay. All right, so look, we're here at Herbal City headquarters. Mm -hmm. um, you know, congratulations Thank on you. everything you have done, yeah. the business has done to this point. Um, so now I gotta talk to you about your journey. And you know what it took to get to this point. Jeez. You know, I want you to I want you to bring it back. Um, <laughs> let's say starting from high school. Yeah. So where did you go from there? What was next to get us sitting in these chairs right now? So after high school, I started college, you know, and it just wasn't working out for me. I actually ended up homeless. You know, so uh, yeah. Homeless? Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. I was sleeping from couch to couch for like months. Like it was actually a very long time. Wow. Yeah, probably like six months. I mean, I don't know if you think that's a long time, but um, after that, and I just felt like I had nowhere to go. So then, you know, okay. the army, that was like an out for me. So okay. I joined the army and I did that for about a year or two and I became reserve. You know, so okay. I was a cook in the army, by the way. Mm -hmm. All right, so you, so you, you can cook. Yeah, you can yeah, cook I'm well. familiar with whipping <laughs> it up in the kitchen, and mm -hmm. it kind of like cor correlates to me, you know, making actual skincare because it's kind of like same thing, you know. Really? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, look, I'm learning. I'm learning something right now, you know. So, all right, so college. Yes. Military. Mm -hmm. Then what? Then um, I went to the post office, you know. You I got a job. At the post office? Yep, got a so, job at the post office. Were you actually hitting the streets? Yeah. And like walking and. I was, I was outside. <laughs> Catch me outside. <laughs> I was outside delivering mail, snow I, eye to eye with me, you know. It was a really, mm -hmm. whew, it was a lot, you know, dealing with the management there. It was. It was really bad management, poor management, and I, I just felt under attack every single day. Really? Yeah, so. so would you say that was like kind of grueling on your body or? Yeah, it was really hard on my body and more so of my mental state. It was really a toxic place there. Really? You know, yeah, they don't care about you. They just want to see you. They just look at you like a machine. You work, work, work until you die. And I just didn't envision my life ending at the post office. You know, I wanted more mm -hmm. for myself. So I ventured off, you know, I was like just trying to figure out what I was gonna do next. Now, was skincare next? No. It, <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was like, um, I was just exploring different things. What works for me? What am I already, what do I already know? You okay. know, what I had knowledge in. So it was cooking, you know, I had, I was very knowledgeable of cooking and I started making smoothies out of my okay. little, you know, my little apartment and, mm -hmm. um, I just wanted a better way to reach the entire world. And with smoothies, you know, you can only, you can't ship smoothies. So okay. I wanted to figure out how I can reach everybody and, and have online sales and an online store. So skincare was definitely big for me, but not necessarily, I didn't think about even starting a business like that. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm good at it. My mother always taught me how to take care of myself. Okay. So I figured it out. Okay, so from there on, you jumped into skincare, but here's the thing. How did you learn how to actually make skincare products? Because it's like, it's that's, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not something anybody could just jump into and no. say, you know what, I'm gonna make products yeah. today. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. how exactly did you learn how to do that? Oh my gosh, it was actually hard. Like I remember my first <laughs> butter, my first butter was so hard. I'm like, it was so discouraging because 
it wasn't like cooking, how you said, mm -hmm. you know, but in the sense of it, it was. You know, you had to take your time, you had to learn recipes. There's a formula, it's like baking, so it's science, it's chemistry. And I didn't really understand. I thought, okay, I can whip up some stuff like I do in the kitchen mm -hmm. and it'd be cool. No, so I had to sit down, take my time, open the books, you know. I did a lot of Google and research. I wasn't too much YouTube, but definitely, I mean, just Googling the same answer over and over and just trying to figure it out. Really? Day and night, like that was 90% of what I did after coming home from a long day from the post office. What is it that you would say makes your product unique? Because it's a lot of people out here, let's say it, out here trying to make skincare or doing skincare yeah. or in the skincare industry. Yeah. I mean, you've been really successful to this point, right? Mm -hmm. So what makes your product unique? Um, well, I was one of the first people to put sea moss in their skincare. And okay. it just came out of nowhere because I never thought of this idea until CMOS started getting a little bit more bigger than what it was. And you start seeing the benefits from just intaking it. And I'm like, hmm, would you have the same benefits as putting it on your skin? And you know, uh, you are what you eat and, and vice versa and stuff like that. So you want to be mindful about what you do put on your skin. Okay. So I'm like, hmm, will this work? So figuring out how to infuse it into my products was really, really major, really big. And once I got that formula down, it was like gold from here on out. So when did the business start snowballing and actually becoming a big thing to where you actually start making income? I would say uh, around my second year, you know, that's my second year, I made a half a million dollars, you know, it was a really, really- So that was in the second year? That was in the second year, oh yeah. I don't know if I told you. No, I didn't, I didn't know that part. It was in the second year, no. Things took off like crazy. It was so unexpected, you know, me mm -hmm. getting a shout out on Beyonce's website. That was major. And then I am Jonathan, like literally it wasn't even paid for. I sent him the products and he loved my stuff. Like he was like, send me boxes of this stuff. So I did, like he loved it. Okay, so at that time, how were you, because you didn't have a store yet, right? No. So how were you selling product at that time? And how were you getting it out <laughs> to people here in the city? And of course you had a website, I'm sure. Yeah, sure. So how were you getting out to people here in the city and getting the word out? How would they purchase it from you? So I was trapping out my house. <laughs> like every single room in there, even the garage was filled with products. So okay. once I got too big for that, I moved into a warehouse, but it was mainly an online store. You know, COVID had hit, so everybody was shopping online anyway, and it was so easy. But the thing that um, really made people want to consistently keep on buying for me, fast shipping. You know, you're competing okay. with Amazon. So right. I'm making sure I ship out almost every day. So look. We done heard a lot about the product. I've mm -hmm. heard a lot about the product. We got a couple very pretty uh, special guests coming in mm -hmm. and they want to try out the product. Yeah. They want to see what it's about okay. and I want to see what it's about. All right. Are you ready to demonstrate? I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Let's, let's go. Let's get to it. All right, so we have our special guest that just came in the building. We have Takia and we have Nurse Key. They're gonna be the models as Herbal City demonstrates her products. I will be demonstrating on this beautiful model, my best seller, which is my sun protector. And it also has a little sea moss. This item is probably one of the best items that you can have. Everybody can use it. Nice, smooth, very lightweight. Do you like it? Yes, it feels really light. I feel refreshed. Make sure you get the neck too. It's important. <laughs> so next we have our other beautiful model. She has dry skin, so we'll be testing out our CMOS serum. This has sold thousands and thousands and thousands. Everybody loves this product. It's sensitive friendly. So I made it so where I put it in a measurement pump. And you only need about two pumps. Put it in your hands like this, moisturize your hands, then you apply it to the face. I like to pat mine, some people like to rub it in. How's that feel? Sort of like silk. Silk? Silky smooth, okay. <laughs> Well, there you have it. These great demonstrations here to show you how you can apply my products onto your skin. I really just like how like a small amount goes a long way. 
Yes, and I feel super refreshed. Yeah, my skin has a dry skin ever, so it's like, mm -hmm. really feel like I feel good. Satin. <laughs> I feel good. How you feel? It's <laughs> great. <laughs> So now I want to talk about Sydney, the content creator. I mean, for those who don't know, you have extraordinary marketing on your IG and social media too, platforms. Yeah. I mean, your reels are extremely entertaining. I want to know how did you get into content creation the way you have this far? I would say social media definitely pushed the narrative of us as a business growing, creating. They wanna see behind the scenes, you know. They wanna really truly see what you're all about. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put on a show. Show them <laughs> all the skincare, show them the machines I use, and just be creative with it because I understand that's what people wanna see. And they wanna see the passion behind the skincare absolutely. making. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. So this is the question I always ask. Mm. What's next? for Herbal City, and where do you see the business going in the future? <laughs> I'm trying to go real commercial, okay? okay? I want stores galore all over the world, but um, that's definitely what I'm aspiring to be, just a real retail, nice store all over America. All right, so there it is. You've heard the journey and what it took for Sydney to get here. You've heard what it takes to make Herbal City a successful skincare business. You've seen the beautiful models, you've seen the demonstration, and now we're gonna watch Sydney as she whips up some of her product, one of her top sellers, live here on That's Major. Let's go. You ready? Let's go. You know what, I'm ready to whip up some of my stuff. Let's get it. Need a lot of dough, a lot of dough. Hey, I don't even chase these. They chase me though. Chase a new religion, job a shine. Time to God, yeah. Can't eat your flesh, it's Ramadan. I'm not a slime. Hey, I follow teachings, one will God. No fair kind. Hey, can't sprint through life a marathon, a marathon. Hey, I just need a lot of dough, a lot of dough. Hey, we moving weight, we tired of bro. Incredible, incredible. Major. I'm trying to cop some houses. Chanel, hey, I'm trying to be Chanel. Just watch the scientists at work. The mad scientists. Period. That's major. That's how you do it. Mm, period. That's how you do it. All right, so there it is. Hey, I got my perfectly wrapped sea moss scrub. Hey, it was another great day, right? Mm -hmm. I had fun. Too. <laughs> I had fun too. Catch Herbal City when you're in the city, and we'll see you next time on That's Major. Major alert. A lot of dough, yeah, I don't even ch They chase me dog. Who your religion? Pitching me rolling, folding, hold up on like Diddy, take that Imagination, God, she want me now Me way back, I just need a lot of dough A lot of dough I don't even chase these They chase me dog. don't chase I grew up like Simba I was serving in winter I was serving in Timberlands 